hopefully you have your item ready in blender and have it on your dummy so first of all we are going to make a transparent render of our of our item so for this we have to light up our scene i'm going to use an HDRI. now you can search on the google what is an HDRI. google will tell you better than me obviously i am using this HDRI from polyhaven website you can download this HDRI from here after downloading the HDRI, go to the world world tab properties then click on this yellow yellow circle and then select environment texture open the HDRI you just downloaded and then go to render scene you can open this pie menu by pressing that and then select render now we are going to make some changes in the render property step make sure the render engine is EV and then check all these options ambient occlusion bloom and then screen screen spray screen space reflection in the color management tab you have to change the view transform from filmic to standard the default is set to filmic you have to set it to standard now let's add a camera by shift a and then camera adjust your scene where you want your camera to be and then press ctrl alt 0 this will snap your camera to your scene and then press N go to view and then say, uh, enable camera to view option then you can adjust your camera according to your liking Make sure you have a space here and here to put elements in our design when we will put elements in the design. Um, in the render tab, you also have to enable the transparent option in the film tab in the film tab. Just like this. You can also change the also change the resolution of your render in this output properties tab. Right now I will I will take out the render <clears throat> in full HD resolution which is 1920 by 1080 so press F12 and your render will be ready after your render is ready save your image make sure that you have selected RGBA which means red green blue alpha alpha is responsible for the transparency in your image and then save your image so I'm going to use Canva which is a graphic designing platform it has a free version and a paid version we are going to use the free version uh, it has almost everything that we need for our design so you will have to sign up for the account after signing up you will have an option here create a design click on this option and then select custom size now you have to enter the resolution that you have of your image that you took of the render so I'm going to select 1920 by 1080 since that is the resolution I take out my render took out my render now create new design this will open a new tab for you okay so first of all I'm going to drop a gradient on this white background so for this I will go to element and then search gradient now you can select different types of gradient from the options available here the crown one is for is the paid one you don't have to use that one and the free ones have are without crown they don't have any crown on their bottom left corner so I will be using this let's scale the gradient until it covers my canvas like that um, 
Now if I want to change the color, I can simply go here and then change the color according to my liking. I will use the green and black since that's the color of my item. Now I will bring my render. So go to upload and then after your render has been uploaded, <clears throat> click on it and then it will put your render on the canvas. Now scale the canvas, uh, scale your render and fill it up in on your canvas like that. Now I will change the color of my gradient. I want to make it a little, I want to make this green color a little brighter. Also I will rotate my gradient so the black color is on the bottom. So to select my gradient, uh, select this position up and then go to layer. Now you can view out, view out of your, zoom out of your canvas by press holding control and then scrolling down like that. I will rotate my canvas like so. And then I will change the color. Okay, I will go with that green color. Now I I will lock this gradient color so that I don't select it accidentally every time I select an element. Now we'll put on some particles. So for particles I will be using the lines and shapes in the elements tab. You can also use other elements as well. But I will go with the lines and shapes. I will go with the lighter color. You can also drop a gradient on this element if you want to. Let's see. I will go with this. And then lower the transparency. Like so. And then scale it down. Now I have to scatter this particle around the canvas. For that, let's move it to the corner and then I will duplicate it. Duplicate, rotate it and then select these two, duplicate them and then spread them scatter them all over the canvas. Rescale them, rotate them or do whatever you want with them. By the way, if you are struggling to snap it, you snap your render to the corner of your canvas, what you can also do is select your render and then go to the arrange tab. Uh, make sure you are in the position tab first and then go to the arrange. Now I'm going to put uh, the texture of this sword. After uploading your texture here, just click on it and it will load your texture. Now the our render seems to be dis to seems to have disappeared from the canvas. So don't worry about it, just go to the position 
and then detach this uh, image from the background. I, I don't know why it keeps making my render as the background. Just detach it from the background like that. I will also log this render so that it doesn't go anywhere. I will also drop a mist a fog in the background here for some dramatic effect. So I will go to element and then search for mist here. Now you can get creative with all these elements. Just don't uh, use too many elements which might make the design complex. Just keep it simple. Now let's take the mist at the back. So for this go to position and then I'm going to put it all the way back all the way to the back and then I will bring it forward like that. So the particles are above the mist, mist layer you can see here. So my mist layer is before, uh, above the gradient and beneath all these particles. So I'm going to edit, the, uh, edit this mist. and give it a little bit of a green tint like that bring up uh, say bring up the saturation and little bit of brightness just play with all these settings until you get your desired result and I will drop the transparency of this mist like so Okay, I like the subtle mist like uh, in the background. Now I will list the number of vertices and the number of triangles that my sword has. So I will need a text box. So add a heading, go to the text tab and then add a heading like that. For the font I, am I will be using the Mont Ferret Classic. And then I will type words and then triangle. I will change the color to white and then make it a little bit and then make it bold and then I'm going also going to use the outline so for this go to the effects and then select outline here increase the thickness and then drag your text box side here Now, to know the number of vertices and triangles on your sword, you have to go to Blender, select your sword, and then go to the Viewport Overlays option. From here, you have to enable statistics, statistics option, like that, and you will have these numbers in the top left corner. Now uh, currently it's showing that there are two objects in my scene. What I can do is hide the dummy. Hide the dummy and then it will show me the number of vertices and triangles of my sword only. W or what you can also do is go to the select the select the item that you want to know the number of vertices of and then go to the tab 
go to tab and then you will have these number of vertices here so I have 949 vertices and 1428 triangles on my spot so 949 vertices 949 vertices and 1428 triangles and then I will bring my text box to the side yeah. you can also decrease this line space here between the between these two lines line space okay that looks fine I will type the name of my sword here so I will just duplicate this text box and then put the name of my sword which is Jaden scale it up you can also change the font of this text box if you want to okay I will go with this font big shoulder display for my for my name Jaden so I'm happy with the title okay so the our design in all is almost complete okay so the bonus tip is that you can animate your they animate your image all you can animate all your your elements for a five second video which you can upload on your Twitter or wherever you want so I will select this uh, text box and then go to animate which will open the text animations for me like that but I don't have to go for the text animations I will select page animations and then I will go with the I will go with this one photo zoom now you can see how cool it, it looks you can also select other animations as well you can see how the elements move on the canvas so there are all sorts of animation you can select whichever you want I will go with the photo zoom so I will say that my design is all, all, almost complete not almost but it is complete so to download my animation I will go to this button 5.0 seconds and then download it from here and save download settings as it is and then download you can also save your design as a PNG or JPEG file so say, go to this option here share which says here and then select download now you have to select your file type as PNG or JPG I will go with PNG and then download so I have downloaded both the mp4 file and the PNG file so that was it for today so you can see I how I created the design by using the free graphic designing tool you can do this too and get creative with your design by all the free elements that are available here